Hey everyone, this is Sean of Nintendo, and welcome to part 16 of Let's Play Metroid Otter M. As you can see, my battery is dying, so it's about time that I made a copy of this file. Because, you know, delete this one anyway, because I don't need it anymore. Delete it, and I gotta copy this one. Because, you know, this is the up to date file. Well, you wanna make sure that if I get interrupted, that, you know, I have it end up saving, that, you know, nothing bad happens. So yeah, guys, welcome to part 16. It's a nice Wednesday morning. And when Samus arrives at the geothermal power plant, she comes face to face with her arch nemesis, Ridley. Anthony attempts to protect the panic-stricken Samus from Ridley and falls into the depths of the lava that fuels the power plant. Samus' anger returns her to her senses. She attacks Ridley with wild shots from her plasma beam, but she manages to narrowly escape. Stricken with grief and remorse, Samus is further bewildered by the lack of communication from Adam. Driven by anxiety, Samus sets out for the main sector. Along the way, she encounters a lone Federation soldier who is en route to Sector 1. So yes guys, welcome to part 16. As you can see, my battery is slow as well. So uh, that pretty much covered what happened in the previous video anyway. So in this video, we're tracking down that guy who, maybe he's the leader, you know? Maybe he's be the source of the plot twist. Now with the plasma beam, we literally can rape. I mean rape with this gun. It is incredibly powerful. I cannot get over how incredibly powerful this gun is. Oh. Okay, let's move on anyway. <coughs> what the? What the hell? Hey, it's the armadillo dudes, but they seem to be advanced. I forgot about these guys. I actually genuinely did. It looks like they're after getting stronger. We got spikes this time, so it looks like I'm not jumping on top of these guys. No, oh, was he frozen there? I don't think I ever did that before. How, how can you dig into the ground? It's made of metal. I call hacks. Alright, fine. Ah. Oh. Come here, you. Ugh. Sarah say, you can't bury under metal without ripping it to shreds anyway. Jeez, come here, you. Aha. You're no match for my plasma beam. Your missile toe is no match for my toe missile. Wait, can we grab that? No, it doesn't look like we can. Okay, um, cause there's a missile. Actually, there is a missile expansion that we can get now with uh, tanks to the speed booster. So we'll go get that. I'm pretty sure one of those dudes, armadillo dudes, comes around here as well. I'm pretty sure they did. Anyone? Hey, there he is. Yeah, here they come. Going, bringing it around town. <laughs> yeah, the idea is that he was originally supposed to follow you there, but we're not going that way. Haha. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Slug, jackass. So, guys, I explained that there was a missile tank here before, way up high. And we can actually get it now, thanks to the science park and making getting up here a lot faster as well. Man, this. Did we seriously, like, walk up this before? How long it took. Stop for like right up right around here and then just shine spark up. Oh really? Okay, it's actually a little bit Ah oh. Well thankfully we don't have to like walk the whole way around, just just walk Oh, we're gonna have to fight this guy! Get out of the way! Alright, okay, fine, you're making things difficult. I gotta pump you with a super missile. Oh okay, looks like I'm pumping you with a regular missile. Oh yes, got him! I don't think I ever lethal strike those guys before. Hmm. Huh. I'm pretty sure that was like the first time I ever got an opportunity to lethal strike one of them. Okay, this that's more than enough of a speed booster. Let me go bum, bada bum, bada bum, 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 right on here. Okay, there we go. And, ah, here we go, missile. Yeah. One of the first kind of like backtracking missiles anyway. Okay, actually, I wonder if... Nah, I won't do much, I won't do any, uh, I won't do really any backtracking until like later in the game when I have like all the items and crap like that. So let's go, let's go track down this guy. Hey, get out of my way, you zoomers. Stupid zoomers. Stupid zoomers. Really? Really, Sean? Really? We already got a missile tank. I'm very happy with that. I'm glad I got Green of Time back up rolling as well. Oh, yes! Uh, get out of my way. Uh, this room. Uh, we can actually do something in this room now. Can we please get the sensor? Where's my sensor? Bar? Seriously? Thank you. There we go. Okay, because there is a um, expansion in here. Took me a while to figure out this one, actually. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Alright, 49. Awesome. And there is also a, um... 
We can use a grapple point here, but um, I wonder if we can like do anything. Yeah, you you guys might have been able to see like way up there. There is a um energy part kind of hiding in a crate there. Hey, there he is. Let's follow him. Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum -ba -ba. Oh, hey, 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 hey! That's not cool. Hit you with my plasma beam. Well, I'm going to arrive and get saved just because, you know, shit's about to go down, guys. Some serious shit's about to go down. We can't grab any, like, expansions, like, relatively near here. <coughs> Probably could, but I don't want to. Oh, I love this part. Jackass took out our bridge. What did I tell you about messing with a man's bridge? Ugh. Oh. Dang it. You riddled it with bullets. Hmm? Any objections, Adam? Oh, the queue's getting rebellious. <laughs> Authorizing items all on our own. Samus, you crazy bit. Yes, yeah, so we have the screw attack and the space jump. Which um is a very, very handy item in this game. Let's actually bring up our bridge again. Man, what did I tell you about messing with a man's bridge? You don't mess with a man's bridge. Don't mess with my bridge next time. Coming after your ass. Looks like we can go through here this time. This elevator is bound for. <gasps> Doesn't look like it's bound for anything. That means it's a super secret elevator. Oh man. Where are we? Not a navigation boost? Oh, I would have had to use this one anyway. Aw. Time waster. <laughs> Sequence complete and process successful. All right then, where's your ass? Come here. I got a plasma beam with your name written all over it. Yeah. What the? Hello? Anyone here? I don't want to shoot you. Just want to pump you with plasma. Hmm. Got this power bomb thing. What the? Easy goes. Easy does it. Steady as she goes, Samus. Hey! It's okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not a member of the Galactic Federation. I came here because I intercepted the distress call. I'm a bounty hunter. And I know that something is after you. Please, you must believe me. She sounded very robotic there. Thank you. I'm Samus Aaron. What's your name? Madeline Bergman. Oh, it looks like we found her. Behind closed doors, the Galactic Federation was trying to create a special forces unit composed of bioweapons. In order to make it happen, they were attempting to create an organization modeled after the space pirates, with the Zabesians at the center. But because of a certain presence, the life forms became ferocious. We were no longer able to control them. By a certain presence, she must have meant Ridley. So you sent out the distress signal. Even though it endangered your life? I had to. I felt there was a real danger here, that if left as is, 
the Zabesians would continue to evolve and resurrect as real space pirates. If that danger was real, then the risk of withholding information to protect herself was too great, clearly. And yet, wasn't she the one who set the facility's system to self-destruct? In silence, I praised her courage and sense of responsibility. At the same time, her argument had some holes. Say that the Zabesians, under Ridley's influence, became super aggressive. Would that really lead to the resurrection of the space pirates? Without a malicious force to lead them down that path, wouldn't they continue to merely follow their instincts, ultimately becoming no more than a swarm of feral creatures? Regardless, it was clear that the Galactic Federation was ready to consign their enormous mistake to oblivion. And that's why they sent a deleter. And as for Madeline and others who knew the secret? But wait, there was another inconsistency in her story. Why go to such lengths at all? With just a small flexing of the Galactic Federation's military force, they should have been able to destroy a facility of this scope with ease. So why didn't they? Actually, there was an even more dangerous plan. Come with me. All right then. Wait, who's watching us? No, they're gonna go. What? That's not possible. The Metroids were terminated along with Zebis. Yes. And the last of them, the baby, met its end above my head. You're Samus Aran, right? The one who annihilated the space pirates? Metroid remnants were attached to your suit when you returned from Zebis. They were reproduced from a piece of cell structure salvaged by the Federation, and they are in this facility. I gave your suit a polish so you'd be at least somewhat presentable. Oh, that jackass. And Ridley in the same way. At first, no one thought that the creature was Ridley. They didn't think it had potential as a bioweapon at all. They raised it like a pet, calling it Little Birdie. Until one day, it attacked one of the researchers and got away. Ridley had played dead and lured the scientist into his cage. What was left? It was a horrible sight. But in order to control Metroids, you need Mother Brain's telepathy. You don't. You didn't recreate a Mother Brain clone, did you? It's artificial intelligence. We developed an AI program that would reproduce Mother Brain's thought processes. We called it MB. But it was just a program. It wasn't the Mother herself. MB evolved as it communicated with the Metroids. It appears as though it began to become self-aware, much like the original Mother Brain. It's really quite remarkable. That's when it became clear to me just why Madeline was so afraid of the Space Pirate's resurrection. It wasn't that her story had holes in it. Through the holes were glimpses of the danger that was right before her eyes. If everything she said was true... Where are the Metroids and MB? They're in an area called Sector Zero. It's a unit that doesn't appear in any of our map data. It's a place like Turian, where we propagate and raise Metroids. I began to see what the worst case scenario would look like. The ultimate weapon the Metroid, would be mass-produced, and as soon as an AI that could control them was developed, 
the plan to create a special forces unit modeled after the space pirates was replaced. But as the AI called MB spun out of control, the facility became a place much like the planet Sevis. If the situation were left alone, galactic society would be put in peril. Even the ringleaders of the operation wanted to avoid that, but they still wanted the Metroids. And that's why... They decided to capture the Metroids contained in Sector Zero and delete the rest of the facility, including the space pirates, Ridley, and everyone who knew the secret. But before the ringleaders could act, Adam appeared. Adam might have known or suspected the truth about the facility from the beginning. Regardless, since the ringleaders were members of the Galactic Federation, they could no longer act recklessly. And so a deleter was installed as a member of Adam's team to destroy evidence and plan each subsequent move. But having me added on as a member must have disrupted the Galactic Federation's plans. Madeline, thanks for telling me all this. I've got to destroy the Metroids and MB in Sector Zero. You have to remain hidden. Don't worry. The Galactic Federation CO who's here now will help you. You're safe. Does that CO happen to be... Commander Adam Malkovich? Bop, bop, bop. Man, that was a long cutscene. Still going on as well. That's the funny thing. The real <coughs> leader of this operation is Commander Malkovich. I can't believe that he's here. Stay here until I return. Do we have control back yet? Because unfortunately, this is actually where I'm going to have to end the video. And uh, the reason for that being is that that cutscene dragged on a little bit longer than I had anticipated. So, um... Woo, yeah! <laughs> and I, I always try to keep my videos under 20 minutes, guys. So... Sorry, I know, that, that was a... One hell of a cutscene, like, I mean, they reproduced Mother Brain as an artificial intelligence. I mean, and who, did the leader really just kill Madeline? Oh, man. Well, all that will be revealed in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. We have to screw attack, yay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.